Bell has power, and it has power. It had the power to preemptively shut off power to 55,000 Coloradans ahead of last weekend's high winds to avoid possible wildfires. A state investigation is now looking into how that was handled. Our Marshal Zellinger is looking into the alternatives that XL had other than a preemptive power shut off for so many people. Marshal joins us now from somewhere deep within Nine News. I could do a lot of damage where I'm at. Kyle, at your home, uh, if there's an electricity problem, the first line of defense might be an outlet like this, which would trip. If there's a problem, it might shut off whatever's plugged into it, like a hair dryer. The next line of defense would be like a circuit breaker. A section of your home might shut down if there's an overload issue. These are isolated ways to deal with electricity problems without having to shut down the power to your home or a news station, or like Excel did this weekend, neighborhoods with tens of thousands of people. Think of electricity transmission like a highway, and the off-ramps and side streets are how the electricity is distributed to your neighborhoods. This past weekend, Excel closed the side streets for 55,000 people in six counties. But why not keep the side streets open and trust the fail-safes that exist that can prevent problems, like fires? Power lines have reclosers, which can stop the flow of electricity if, say, a tree falls into the lines. It continuously is measuring the current, the, call it power. As soon as there is a change in the power, that's when it reacts. Omid Bake is an assistant professor of electrical engineering at the Colorado School of Mines. He knows electricity. Next time when you drive on the street, see, you see the transmission line, you see these thing that before it goes anywhere, it comes to these three things. These are reclosers. Reclosers are like circuit breakers. If two power lines hit each other or a tree falls into them, the recloser opens, stopping the flow of electricity. So in a windy day, if two lines touched, mm -hmm. that's going to cause, cause a spark. The, circuit, the recloser will open immediately. And every time, like if it stopped, if they stop touching, it'll re-engage. Correct. If the power line is still compromised, the recloser should not close, keeping electricity from flowing. Excel told me today that reclosers are relied on normally, and for the last few months, Excel first changes the settings on reclosers, making them more sensitive to problems. Consider that phase one. Excel told me they went to phase two last weekend, proactively turning off power because of the extremely high winds and dry vegetation below power lines. Here's a photo of a tree into a power line that Excel sent to the Colorado Public Utilities Commission. It's a scenario where the recloser could still shut off power, but perhaps after the tree catches on fire. If this tree falls and the short circuit happens and the short circuit current is high enough that generates enough heat that tree is on fire, now the power is lost, but we have a fire. Excel told me that the normal recloser settings are a three shot. So what does that mean? Let's say a tree branch hits the power lines, the recloser opens one shot and stays open for a few seconds and then closes. And if the branch is still there and there's a problem, it opens again, a second shot. Then it waits maybe 30 seconds to a minute before it closes a last time. And if the problem is still there, a third shot, it opens and stays open, stopping electricity until the crew can go out and assess the problem. Excel said when they make it more sensitive, they make it a one shot. The first sign of a problem, it opens up, no power until crews get out there. But this weekend, they went beyond that and did this thing. The, the thing that could shut down, you know, an entire news station, Kyle, right here, this. I'm, nope, nope, nope. I'm, we, we knew this program was going to get taken off the air eventually, but not like this, Marshall. It's not going to happen like this. Not you and me. We're not going down like this. That's very interesting, though. It's, Normally, no, there's don't a lock here. Don't something. touch it. The bosses are watching. Don't touch it. That is interesting to see how that, to see how that works and the options that they had. Marshall, thank you.